What is up, sports bettors? We have a big game on May 25th, Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals, Heat Celtics, 2-2, headed back to Miami. What are the best bets? That is what we are going to be going through in this video. So the Celtics were massive favorites, massive favorites in Game 3 and 4. They split back in Boston. The Celtics won Game 4. The Heat pulled it off in Game 3. The Celtics annihilated the Heat in game four, very low scoring game. So what's gonna happen today? We can go over to the money line and you'll see the Celtics are very slight favorites. Very slight favorites, right? Minus 118 is the best price you can get on the Celtics plus 107. So on FanDuel, plus 107 is currently the best money line odds from Odds Jam, which is constantly scanning all of these sportsbook markets, updating in real time to find you value as a sports better. So the Odds Jam perfect line, real-time odds from Pinnacle Sportsbook, has the Celtics at minus 118 on the money line, plus 107 for the Heat. So what we can do is we can throw that into a zero vig odds calculator and get the implied win percentage. So according to betting markets, the Boston Celtics are 52.84% to win this game. That is what Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest sportsbook in the world, that is what their model is currently pricing as the implied win probability for the most efficient betting market out there. So Heat, you know, small, small favorites in this game, but what I'm going with today is a player prop. The bet I'm going with is Jalen Brown, under three and a half assists. Try to bet 500 on it. FanDuel's like, yo, you've made too much money off us. We'll give you 288.20. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock this bet in and then we'll explain why we like it. Jalen Brown, under three and a half assists. So sportsbooks have started to post player prop odds and Odds Jam is constantly scanning all of these markets, player threes, assists, everything for you to try to find you value as a sports better, right? So all the markets you can dream of betting on um, for this Heat Celtics game, you can bet on with Odds Jam, right? Player threes, you can browse odds. Really everything, you can compare odds using Odds Jam. So the bet I'm going with is under three and a half assists for Jalen Brown. This is minus 144 on FanDuel. Pinnacle, the Odds Jam perfect line, has this at minus 183. So a bit higher market width here, minus 140 or 49, but the fair odds are minus 151.31. So we're getting some good value on FanDuel. You can see Caesars, you know, this is nearly an arbitrage opportunity to Caesars. So there's a lot of value on FanDuel and this bet has a 2% profit margin. So this NBA bet has a 2% profit margin. So again, odds jam, whatever market you wanna look at, player made threes, updating millions of odds every 10 seconds to show you the best prices you can get as a sports better. So the best line you can get on Horford to have over one and a half threes is plus 105 on either DraftKings or Caesars. The best odds you can get on the under is minus 130 on FanDuel, right? So this is really helpful because the positive expected value page will show you mathematically profitable bets such as Jalen Brown under three and a half assists right? Caesars has this minus 170. DraftKings has this minus 175. Pinnacle minus 183. It's pretty clear there is insane value being able to get minus 144 on FanDuel, right? This bet is positive EV, the profit margin. So this is the first bet I locked in for this game. The profit margin for this bet, we staked 288.20 is 2%. So we're getting 2% on 288.20, so roughly $6, right, in profit margin on this bet. So I'm going to go ahead and add this bet to my odds jam bet tracker. 288.20 is our stake. And then I'm going to go over to um, my bet tracker, right? So again, the odds jam bet tracker is really helpful because it will show you your profit and loss, your pending bets, your ROI, and your beat CLV percentage, right? If you want a positive ROI, you want a positive net profit, you need this number to be above 50%. The best sports bettors can get it above 70%. You push this number above 70%, you are gonna be printing profit using the Odds Jam positive expected value page. Now, again, like this isn't accurate data for me. <laughs> um, because I work at Odds Jam, I have a bunch of test accounts, so don't look too deeply into these numbers. There's definitely no way I have a 23% ROI, I wish, obviously you know, that, 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 that would be a little too good to be true. But what you can see is the Odds Jam Bet Tracker, which is 100% free, allows you to track your bets. And it will show you when you beat the closing line, right? So better odds than the closing line will show up in green. If you get worse odds than the closing line, it'll show up in red, right? So the Odds Jam Bet Tracker will show you when you are beating 
or losing, you know, um, to the closing line, right? So you want to see a lot more green than red in your bet tracker. So this is a free feature of Odds Jam. So what I like to do is just kind of browse through, you know, at the end of every day and make sure I'm seeing more green than red. The Odds Jam bet tracker will also automatically grade your bets as, you know, wins and losses, which allows you to see this dashboard of your profit and loss and stuff like that. So Jalen Brown, under three and a half assists, minus 144. That is my early player prop bet um, for the Heat Celtics game. I'm sure I'll have many more. And, you know, browse odds with Odds Jam. Make sure you're getting the best line. Even though these differences between, you know, plus 140 versus plus 120 seem pretty small, in the long run, if you want to get serious about your sports betting and make serious profits sports betting, these differences make all the difference, right? All the difference. No sports better is going to win every time. So being able to get 5% better odds, 10% better odds, always getting the best line on your bets will move you from being an unprofitable sports better, like 99% of people to actually making money sports betting, which is very powerful. So we went through our favorite NBA player prop bet for May 25th, Heat Celtics Game 5. Heat Celtics Game 5 should be a good one. Betting markets are projecting it's going to be a very close game. Once again, the Boston Celtics are very slight favorites in this game back in Miami. So Game 5, May 25th, get your player prop bets in, and hopefully it's an exciting one.